Both hyena and vulture are scavengers and both animals largely survive in forest by eating the carcass. A scavenger is an organism that mostly consumes decaying biomass, such as meat or rotting plant material. Many scavengers are a type of carnivore, which is an organism that eats meat. While most carnivores hunt and kill their prey, scavengers usually consume animals that have either died of natural causes or been killed by another carnivore. Vultures only eat the bodies of dead animals. Vultures have many biological adaptations that make them well suited to being scavengers. Most have excellent eyesight and a strong sense of smell. They use these keen senses to locate rotting carrion while they are soaring high over land. Unlike raptors, or birds that hunt, vultures have weak talons and beaks. Raptors use sharp talons and beaks to kill, while vultures do not need to overpower or secure their prey. Many vultures are also bald, meaning they have no feathers on their head. This prevents bits of carrion, which can carry toxic bacteria, from sticking to feathers and infecting the bird. In most occasions, hyena and vulture have to share the same food resource for their meal. The fight between vulture and hyena are expected to be more due to the species difference as both does not belong to the same pack or flock and also do the competition for the food. But in most occasions, hyena may at the most try to drive away the vulture or vice versa. They never pick up deadly fight or quarrel. When size of the carcasses is reasonably big, all of them eat the meal together with great tolerance. Hyena is a very strong animal with definite history of killing even a wild beast or a buffalo. If it kills a vulture, it can also scare or warn other vultures and it can eat the meal very peacefully. Hyena need the help of vultures to know the presence of carcass in the in the forest. If hyena attacks the vulture, then the animal will be inaugurating an unwanted war between the two animals. Perhaps, in nature, the scavenger would have preferred to remain a scavenger in front of other scavengers. Another interesting possibility may be why to pick up a fight with vulture as it is also exclusively depending upon the same food resource for its survival. Hyena and vulture knows that it is not worth fighting when a need or purpose kindles them. Fulfilling the purpose is worthier than fighting and wasting the time and energy resource. The lion may kill their prey. Upon being satisfied and leaving the carcass, there are many scraps left over that the lion would not have used. Vultures pick apart the remaining nutrition of any leftover kill. The vulture has received its meal, and the lion hasn't been dealt anything. Vultures eat anything and everything that is dead. Lions on the other hand can too eat a vulture but won't necessarily bother, because a vulture is just a snack for a lion and the energy needed to kill a vulture is just too much than the meat it gets after killing it. Lions do notice the vultures flying overhead and follow them but that is just because vultures circling in the sky means there's dead meat around. In the wild hyena normally hunts alone and usually at night.
To catch large prey they will hunt in packs. Spotted hyenas kill about 95% of their prey but will also scavenge often dining on the leftovers of other predators. That's why, hyenas are a specialized type of carnivore called a scavenger. Their primary prey include wildebeests, gazelles, zebras and buffalo. They tear the bones of their prey with their powerful jaws. Which permits them to break bones that even a lion could not crush. Buffaloes are the most common prey of hyenas. With their powerful jaws, they can tear buffalo bones, allowing them to break bones that even a lion couldn't. Because calves' defenses are still weak, hyenas usually prey on them. Adult buffalo will usually come to help, so they must kill the calf quickly. Adult buffalo, particularly aggressive buffalo, are extremely dangerous and can kill or injure a large number of hyenas. If the hyenas are starving, they will attack the adult buffalo as well. They will pursue the buffalo until it becomes exhausted and falls down. These African animals are less skilled at stalking than cats and instead rely on their speed and stamina to run down their prey. They can sprint at 60 km per hour and keep up a speed of 40 to 50 km per hour over 5 km. They kill their prey by biting chunks out of it and targeting major blood vessels as it runs. The victim dies from shock and loss of blood as it is torn apart and pulled down. They are very noisy when they feed and often chase